All right, welcome to a podcast of the notes for section 7.3 in your textbook. And this is just the first part. It's on percent composition. And percent composition right up here is a really useful tool in chemistry for identifying a substance. You might have an unknown substance, and we could put in a machine that would tell us uh, basically what percent each element is, and then you could figure out the formula based on that. And all you need uh, to do percent composition is a chemical formula. So if we look at my steps over here, one, two, and three, and I've just written water, okay, first thing we want to do is find the total uh, mass of each elemental component, okay? And you guys have done this. This is molar mass. So I look up the weight of, of hydrogen. It's 1.0079, uh, and there's two of them, and I take the weight of one oxygen, and, and that's 16. So I get a weight or a molar mass of oxygen of 18.01 grams per mole, right? Now, of that 18 grams, how many grams of that is hydrogen? Well, hydrogen... We've got 2 times 1.0079, okay, for a total of 2.016. I divide that by the molar mass, okay, that's step 2. And then, of course, because it's a percent, we're going to times it by 100. And then when you work that out, you get a value of 11.1% by mass. So of... Water's mass, 11.1% is hydrogen. What would be the other percent? Well, if I subtracted that from 100, I would get 88.9%. So that's what we're doing here. Really, it's going to be a really useful tool, and you'll see later in uh, the lectures just how useful it is. So let's look at another example. Here's uh, an example of carbon dioxide. And I, I've got carbon dioxide here. The first thing I do, oops, excuse me, let me, lost my slide there. The first thing we do is we find the molar mass of carbon. So there it is. How did I get that? I took the weight of one carbon and the weight of two oxygens. So it's 44.01 grams per mole. And then the next thing that I did is I took the weight of the carbon divided by the molar mass um, times it by 100, we get 27.3%. Now with oxygen, there's two of them. So 2 times 16 gives me 32. Divide that by the total molar mass times 100, get 72.7%. Now these two numbers should add up, to, add up to 100. When we have a lot of elements, because of rounding, sometimes you'll get a 99.9 .9 or 100.1. And, and either one of those values is okay. But usually we're shooting for 100% exactly. And another thing that I like to have, I like to have my percents go to the tenth. All right? So let's work out another one that's a little tougher. Let's go to the next page here. And here we have baking soda and we have calcium phosphate. Let's do the baking soda one first. So the first thing I need to do is add up the molar masses uh, of all these. So I'm going to take 1 Na, 1 H, 1 carbon, and 3 oxygens. And when I do that, I get a molar mass of 84.01 grams per mole. Okay, the next step is now I'm going to divide that by the weight of each one of the elements. So for sodium, I've got 1 times 23.00 is 23.00 divided by... 84.01 times 100, and that gives me a percent of 27.4%. For hydrogen, same process, 1 times 1.0079, which is 1.0079 divided by 84.01 times 100, and that gives me 1.2%. Carbon, got 1 times 12.01, which equals 12.01, which is 84.01, times 100. That equals 14.3%. And last but not least, I've got oxygen, there's three of them. 
Oxygen weighs approximately 16 grams per mole. That gives me 48 divided by 84 times 100, and that equals 57.1%. Now, if you add those all up, it adds up to 100%. And this is something we should do just to check ourselves. So that is the percent by mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate, otherwise known as baking soda. And you could see a question like this on an exam where it'd be, it would be find all the, the percent composition of all the elements, or you might see a question where it says find the percent composition of one of the elements. If it said like find the percent composition of sodium, you would just do this one and you would give that answer. So it's a really nice technique pretty easy, straightforward, and um, I want you to try one more. Right up here we've got calcium phosphate, and the reason I want you to do this one is we've got a polyatomic ion with a parentheses, and sometimes that becomes a problem. So remember, it's the total mass of all the elements divided into the total mass of uh, each element, or all the atoms that make up that element. So pause this video, Try finding the molar mass of phosphate and see how you do. Okay, I don't know if you paused or not. I hope you did. Um, here are the percents that I got, 38, 20, 41.2. And I am going to go ahead and show you how to do this, just in case you didn't get those numbers. So going to go with, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is find the molar mass of calcium phosphate. I added up the weights of three calciums. Two times four, which would be eight uh, oxygens, and then two times one, two, two phosphorus. When I do that, I get a molar mass of 310.18, right? So here we go. Let's do calcium first. Calcium, there's three times its molar mass, which is 40.08, and that equals 120, oops, 120.24 divided by 310.18 times 100 equals 38.8%. So there's calcium. Let's do, uh, oops, one second here. Okay. Let's do phosphate. Now remember, there's two phosphate there, right? Because the two on the outside of the parentheses. So I've got two times the molar mass of phosphate is 30.974. So thir that gives me 61.948 divided by 310. 0.18 times 100, and that gives me about an even 20%. And then last but not least, I'm going to do oxygen. And if you look up here, we've got 2 times 4, so that's 8 oxygen. So I've got 8 oxygen times 16.00 equals 128 divided by 310.18 times 100 equals 41.2%. And we add those all up just to double check, and you have 100%. All right, so that's percent composition, and uh, hopefully it makes sense to you. If not, please come see me. Uh, just a few more practice problems will probably get it done for you. And... Uh, Hope this all made sense.